counties in the Bay Area have decided to put their stay-at-home order in place even before the state requires it. Those counties are Alameda, Contra Costa, Marin, San Francisco and Santa Clara, plus the city of Berkeley. Those jurisdictions fall within the Bay Area region. Action News 8 reporter Christopher Salas has more from Pacific Grove on the response from our local counties. Yeah, good evening, Aaron. Neither Monterey or Santa Cruz County is committed to joining those other Bay Area jurisdictions in locking down early ahead of ICU bed capacity reaching that 15%. It may be the last Friday night of outdoor dining on the Central Coast in 2020. Locals and restaurants hoping to savor the few remaining moments, but not everyone was. We decided to uh, jump the gun a little bit and just get our ducks in a row for when that shutdown happens. Michaela Kenster is not waiting for ICU bed capacity to fall below 15%. She's brought in tables, space heaters, and slowly closing her parklet, preparing for a tough winter. We're available for takeout, soups and stews and chowders. We're your hibernation station. It's totally frustrating. It's, it's it, I mean, not only frustrating, but also just like, how do you keep doing that? You know, like you can't, that's like how many businesses have to reinvent themselves eight times in a year. Unlike Kenster, Monterey and Santa Cruz counties were not as decisive. Santa Cruz County said in a statement, health officer Dr. Gail Newell is collaborating with local officials to consider what additional measures may be necessary. But the county said at this time, it has not reached any conclusions. It is considering all options. Monterey County said, Health Officer Dr. Edward Moreno is conferring with local and neighboring partners to determine whether to implement these early restrictions. At least I would like some lead time. Restaurant owner Michael Scanlon said he thought it was a wise decision for Bay Area counties to shut down early, ahead of the expected surge. It makes planning and management very difficult. And it's important to note that the state says it's not a matter of if, but when ICU bed capacity reaches 15% in every region across the state. When that happens, each region will have 48 hours to implement those new restrictions and they must stay in place for at least three weeks. Reporting in Pacific Grove, I'm Christopher Salas, KSBW Action News 8.